Oh, so many nice things. Yay, everything works. And there's no echo. This is lovely. Yeah. Cool. We made it. Yeah. With our, with our, with our traditional 30-minute late time stamp. We did it. <laughs> Thank you for your so, patience, everybody. Thank you so much, even when we do this every two weeks. I don't know what's <laughs> going on with my computer today, so... It's, oh, it's, it. it's quite an operation. We, you know, it's a lot it's of a lot data. To yeah. It is a lot. Channels. Time. Yeah. Different time zones. Yeah. You, you might think too. because it's like the third month we do this. <laughs> we have. <it> like, <laughs> I know. My God. I don't know. What two time mean. zones, three countries, two continents. Yeah. It's a lot. So I yeah. feel like we should start or you should start introducing Patricio again because when you yes. did that before, they could only read the caps. And you guys couldn't hear me. It's true. Time. So welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you all for waiting. And it is Windows' fault, because it's serious them, I agree with you. Um, but yeah. we're super excited today because we have our second guest, who you've all guessed, is Patricio, the lovely Hi. creator, one half of the creator, I should say, of the Book of Shaders, which he created with his lovely wife, Jen. Yeah. Yes? Jen Lowe, yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for having me. It's yeah. a pleasure to, uh, honor to be here. So yeah. thank you for the invitation and yeah. And, I have for... to, and I have to say again, bienvenido, Patricio, en español. Que también, Muchas gracias. Para los latinos que estén aquí escuchando, no se perdieron eso antes. So I'm basically saying, Just hablando. welcome to Patricio in Spanish. I think I was saying this before, you guys couldn't hear me either, but I always think of Patricio as like the godfather of shaders. So it's super special to have him with us oh. today. Thank you so much. I mean, we do really talk about you pretty much every stream because we use the Book of Shaders every stream. Oh, and that's awesome. Cards and, you yeah, know, you've created quite the resource for everybody. El Padrino. El Padrino. Con el gato. Excellent. But yeah, uh, I agree with Eliza. Thank you so much for that wonderful resource that you and your wife did because that's how I learned Shaders last year. So. Oh, Three. I'm... Your resource. Well, I'm 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 deeply honored. I, I think it's one of the um, one of the crazy thing about all this about, about the internet and um, it's how it's um, yeah when when you do something and you put it online and other people use it and find it useful, um, it feels great. So thank you for using it and uh, for yeah that makes my day. <laughs> Yeah. And for the people that is here today, by the way, Patricio, we want to start by asking you, like, for example, can you tell, I, I already know, maybe some people know too, that you're from Argentina, but can you tell us where exactly are you from in Argentina? Which city? Where did you grow up? Or where yeah, did you move to story. a different Argentine <laughs> city? Uh, so, <laughs> so um, okay, I'm, I'm, um, I'm from Argentina. I'm from Buenos Aires, from Argentina. I'm from Capital Federal. Um, it's it's tricky because um, if I say to somebody from Latin America that I'm from Argentina, they will say, "Oh, oh my God!" You know, he's, he's an arrogant uh, Argentinian. <laughs> but then, if we're in between Argentinians and I'm saying that I'm cap from Capital, they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's an arrogant uh, guy, from porteño." Um, so I am I'm, I'm the quintessential. Arrogant. I, I, I am bad. <laughs> that and I you think... embody the what the representation of all that is. Yeah, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a three levels deep of level of. Uh, but yeah. you're like the least arrogant person ever. <laughs> I, maybe I'm trying to overcompensate. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't know. It's, uh, Patricia is right. It's a Latino thing. I, I think uh, somehow believe me. Uh, as a Mexican, so like in I France, could... they say like people from the south are lazy. So like that. Kind yeah. Of yes. I th I, I think we deserve a bunch of our credits. We we have this uh, air of like, oh yeah, we are actually, we're actually Europeans. It's like <laughs> that's kind of like the attitude that we have. Like, got it. Got yeah, it. we we happens to be in Latin America, but we we are come on, we are we're Europeans. Got it. <laughs> so, so we do that. We we are very annoying in that sense. I think. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I would say that I, in my opinion, in my experience, what that everybody is very friendly. I, I had the pleasure to be in Buenos Aires in 2011 for oh, three nice. months. I lived there for a summer. I don't know oh, if nice. you know this uh, school in Palermo Soho, La Underground. So I went to study to this little school. Oh. It's a creative school. And that's and... Uh, it. Oh, I, I. It rings a bell, but I, 
it's like a, a advertising yes exactly it's yes. more focused because i was studying back then marketing and but it was a creative advertising so you had like um, different kind of classes for con came up to to conception of things and developing even media so it was just mm. an interesting uh, and, and that's not that like la escuelita I, th I remember that it was another so, kind of like La Escuelita or something like that. Or maybe I, it's the I same have, one. I have no idea. It could be. I uh, don't know. But I lived there in 2011 for a summer in Buenos Aires. And I really enjoyed nice. my time there. So very big city. We we are very friendly. We we take friendship very seriously. Um, and I think that's, uh, yeah, that's one of definitely one of the richness of Argentina. Mm. We, um, that I, I, I miss a lot. Um, we, we Friendship is... Um, yeah, we, we take it seriously and to the point of like, you know, we, we keep up, we, we, we like to honor friendships. Um, well, that's yeah. so nice, like real connection. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we will tell each other kind of like frontal. frontal oh, truth. you're like really real with each other. I like that even more, more yeah. authenticity. We need more of that. We, we we are real to each other, but also we are like caring. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's that we have a nice mix. It, it, part of the uh, our process of becoming friends involves kind of like um, rasping those edges, which I think is pretty much like common in all Latin American. Mm -hmm. We we have a, a way of like making fun of each other's in a kind of like a lovely way in order to like break the ice. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a lot of teasing and joking around, I would say. Yeah, you, oh, you got okay. it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have tried to do it here, but sometimes sometimes ends in these like um, hard situations where I'm like... I feel like people would be like taking it personal, no? Yeah, yeah. they freak out. Sometimes <laughs> they freak out. <laughs> yeah, different humor, I, I... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah. What's I, I, oh. I like I like home. What something in your screen, Elithia just glitched. Oh, there's two of us now. Yeah, it's oh. just because I'm searching BS code. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry. So should I open up? No, 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 no. You don't need to. I'm I'm searching it on. Oh my wow. End. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Mario, my... is it like car there Carilla? Is. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Carilla. Yeah. Sí, Carilla. la carrilla. Oh, that's, no. that, that's how we said in Mexico, but I don't think maybe Patricio understands. The, 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 no. La what carrilla. is la carrilla? La carrilla, we say in Mexico, um, uh, this joking thing, like when you're teasing uh, someone. Uh, I think this, this teasing someone in a jokey way, but not, like you say, bad, it's called carrilla. Yeah. Uh, we, we say, te estoy jodiendo. We, we use jodiendo. In that sense. Ah, jodiendo? But, okay. See, sí, jodiendo is. is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, a, yeah, I'm messing up with you. Yeah. We have that in France. But I, I, it took me, I've been here for 10 years. It took me a long time to understand that. I used to take it really personally. I was like, what? what are you saying to me? Now I get it. But it took <laughs> My very Canadian edges were like, what is happening? Because in Canada, everyone's so polite. Um, Okay, wait. Let's let's refocus because now you have your VS Code open. Yeah, I found it. And what's really exciting today is that Patricio has has an interesting library to talk to us about. Oh yes, <laughs> I, I totally if forgot you feel, about like, it. <laughs> what I was like, like... <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of in the back seat enjoying the ride. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't have uh, to, but since we're here, I know you're excited about it because we were talking oh, about yeah. it last night. Yeah, th thank you for bringing it up. And I, and I thought this was a kind of like, um, it was kind of like a nice n nice setup uh, to bring it. So um, yeah. so if you go to, I don't know where to start, but I'm going to, I guess I'm going to start um, with the GitHub repository. Yeah, sure. So yeah. if we go to github.com, Patricio Gonzalez Vivo, slash um, Ligia. Is Ligia this, is, sorry? Is, is this library like, uh, how is, what is it in reference to the Book of Shaders? Is it like a super separate thing? Is it like a continuation? No, an evolution? Uh, actually, so I think, all, well, all, all the projects are tied in, I kind of like linking in my head, right? But mm -hmm. um, uh, Ligia, actually the, the, ori the back origin comes from the Pixel, the Pixel Spirit deck. When, mm. We love yeah, 
<laughs> I have it next to me. It is always. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, what an honor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, one of the things when, when I was making it, um, obviously it, it came but very fast, the idea that I cannot have in each, if I want to make a render, I need to be having kind of like dependencies and include yeah. functions. And, and then comes this idea of like, oh, this should be kind of like a progression, an educational progression. And well, the, the, the whole idea of, of, the, of the deck itself kind of like um, I start developing. And other, yeah. yeah, and and by the end, I was very kind of like comfort on this idea of like, um, I don't, it's just with some simple includes, I can like be adding mm -hmm. functions and, and very or organically, uh, like a library of facets of, of reusable functions came to life. And kind of like privately, I, I keep building on, on that principle. Mm -hmm. um, and because I do shaders uh, um, for a living, uh, there was, uh, I, I had a lot of time to kind of like build up and, and develop it and test it in the wild and in different kind of like setups. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and actually I have built it and rebuilt it several times. Mm -hmm. um, and now that I, you know, I'm, I, I was, I had in between jobs, I had like uh, a couple of, um, like a month free. And yeah. I was like, I am going to build up this again and take all the pieces, all the, everything that I have been kind of building. And, and it was perfect alignment because inside the, the, my new job in runway, which I'm very happy. Yay, we're was, so excited about this, by the way. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I saw it on Twitter. So you're so oh, very thank you so much. I am very excited. For me, it's uh, coming back to the community that I feel that I belong. Um, you know, in, in corporate America, I have been kind of, I'm, we, I guess everybody that comes from our weird uh, world of, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of yeah. hybrids, <laughs> yeah. unicorns, uh, uh, I feel that, um, yeah, I feel that it was a little mis, kind of like always misplaced and, 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 in, mm. and in a bit of, bit of like a limbo of like, and of who I, I was and what, what I want to do with my life and where I was and the things that I need to do. And I have find like great uh, friends like Johan, I think you, you, you met yeah. him. Yeah. We, we still talk every once in a while. I haven't talked to him in a few months. But, oh man. Yeah. He's great. He's great. He's like my brother. Yeah, I love him. Um, for, for a long time, my, my wife refers to him as my work husband. No, you did have a work husband. I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. It's yeah. Um, he was the one that was keep like held me and keep everything tied. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you know it's those people that like actually like make a, a work environment like livable, right? So I'm very yeah. grateful to him. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, he he left uh, the, the that job like. A like in last year well around... i saw him right before he did he came to paris oh yeah lunch, and then we discussed the exit and then nice. happened, and i'm excited for him the exit. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i was very excited for him too um and i started feeling that it was my time um yeah. we also moved so a lot of things that were traveling like you know um living in the bay area is very expensive mm -hmm. so by mm -hmm. moving here to north carolina um, um Everything Where becomes in the like. Area where you live in, by the way, in Hayward. Oh. Nobody where, knows where is, where is it. I don't know. I, I did look it up on the map. Santa Cruz. That's why I ask. So where is Hayward? It's, <laughs> it's far. It's far. It, it's far enough knows. from San Francisco that we couldn't have lunch when I came. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's, pretty, it's in the East Bay. Yeah. Uh, no, but we we have lunch. We did have lunch. No, I yeah. I, we, I came out to see you, but oh. not not where you live. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty far away. It's. Um, we choose it because um, it's, it's, uh, the, it was more diverse. It was a huge Latino community and the price was kind of like right for us to have like a house where we can be more comfortable with the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, so we make that kind of like balance. Nobody knew where I was living and I kind mm -hmm. of liked it like that way. And, I, mm -hmm. and, and we were very happy there. And also because real estate is so aggressive in the Bay Area, we, I wasn't advertising it too much yeah to keep it that way <laughs> but i was very protected from the bay area um i don't know i lost totally the story yeah, we were talking about runway. Runway. We were talking about no, runway. no 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 
that you moved yeah. to to North Carolina. Carolina. Oh yeah, North Carolina. And runway uh, being part of the community. Oh yeah. Changing jobs. And um, Chris from Runway, we, we we start talking. He is the world is very small. I I went to give a class of about shaders. But, Surprise! <laughs> and in ITP, and he was my student, and we said like you know, um, and then we got in contact like in November last year, and we had talk, talking about like the transition. I, I told him like I'm pretty much in my way out of of this job, <laughs> and um, and. They scooped you up fast, I'm sure. I'm sure that they jumped at the opportunity to have you. No? Oh, yeah. Well, well, I, I was very excited with the opportunity because I had been following their work from yeah. the distance. And he and he was like, we need somebody with WebGL kind of like knowledge to take on. We need somebody that is kind of like uh, this ready to take like the lead on, a, on, on what can be like a, a rendering team. I'm so uh, excited to see how this all develops for Runway. By the way, now. for the, oh, yeah, the people that there. is watching and maybe they don't know, can you explain what Runaway does? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I hope I do a good work. No <laughs> so Runway, if you go to runwayml.com, um, you will find a website that is great. It's, we're building a tool that is making uh, using machine learning super easy. Actually, I, have, have, I haven't done anything. Of that i cannot take any okay. credit of that um that's the, the, the it's an impeccable team that has um built this kind of like um way of loading uh models ar mm -hmm. models very easy it's kind of designed for artists so mm -hmm. they can experiment with no kind of like with no uh, friction you the 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 models run in a gpu uh, in a server so you you can do it with a like a like an old laptop mm -hmm. um, and it's very easy. And last year they got a big hit, which is kind of like moving towards uh, video pipeline of like, uh, they have a, the, the main product is like the green screen, which I you can do that. like- I saw that, so impressive. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. And um, in that direction, that's where like WebGL become kind of like a priority for them. And they were like, I wonder, yeah. and, and that's where like I, I I was coming? very lucky to, uh, uh, yeah, to our that path cross. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, and I feel right at home. The people, it's just, I, I feel that we're all like very similar in the sense of like, we're all passionate about code, passionate about making tools, passionate about our community and making tools for our community. That's the also, dream, yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. And everybody also has his own art. So everybody's kind of also like, oh, I will, I want kind of like to do this because I will use it, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so cool. That's amazing. Well, that sounds like a lovely community of people. To oh, be man. Around. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very I feel... important to find at work colleagues, you know, that you can get uh, along well because we spend yeah. like, a lot of our time at work. So if, I mean, yeah. if I'm not working only part time. So yeah, it's very important that. It's very and and it has other tweets for me that were very important. One one is that it's full. They were okay with full remote. I can even mm. like work from Argentina, which is huge. So nice. And the other one is that they the, the two of the found the three there are three founders and two of them are from Chile, so oh. I get to <gasps> talk yes. to have meetings in España. Yeah. Oh, yes. Excellent. That's so good. <laughs> Going to oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. You're like a Paul. Oh yeah. So you're and, like, you feel super understood on so many levels, creative, culture, everything. That's super nice. Completely. Yeah. And very take well care. Like the, the rest of the crew is, um, is, 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 in, is a little younger. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I w we were going through the interviews, it was like, kind of like giving like red flags of like, I have two kids for me, I have some weird needs that I, so for me, like, you know, health insurance is like vital because we get sick a lot. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, I, I hear. I can hear yeah. you. Isn't your little one. If you have to step, but you need to go I get her. Any time you can, huh? And you come. I, no yeah, I, I will keep an eye. Okay. But right now, um, Jen is hearing. Okay. Okay. Being a hero. No worries if you need to go. Um, I think it's okay. Um, um, yeah, and they 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 take really good care of us and. And and it's very nice. Also, also because they are from ITP, I, I came from like from the competition program, which was the 
Parsons, mm -hmm. which are very similar in some ways. Um, so I think that they, they, culturally, I, I, I'm feeling that I fit. So good. I, yeah, I don't know if they think the same thing about me, but I I'm feel sure. right at home. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they, they must adore you having you there. No, for sure. El Argentino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, okay, so wait, I see, sorry, I totally interrupted you. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I was just going to say, I see that Elithia has your um, library open on the screen. Yeah, oh. I, I put it up. I hope it's so fine. Do have I hope this but if you have a Awesome. I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, yeah. I feel so, people um, can, can check it out already. So, and so, somebody put in the chat, thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you for putting it there. Um, so the and so the idea of the library is, is basically is like a library of assets, um, and I'm making it in a way that is multi-language. So it's GLSL and HSLSL. Um, so exciting. you can like run yeah. GLSL shaders or Web G in WebGL and OpenGL in Vulkan, and or also you can run them uh, on Unity or um, I so guess exciting. yeah. <laughs> as, um, Translating shaders is so annoying, so it's super fun to have, yeah, to have this. It's like such a crazy body of work, Patricio. Can't thank you enough. Oh, no, it's for me. For me, for me, it's a pleasure, and 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 also in a more selfish way, I um, I I, I has I have been. If I look back um, uh, through my career, um, giving to the community always gives back. So yeah. all. Mm -hmm. We, I, I, I started writing the book of shaders and, and Jen started editing and we started working together on it when she was pregnant with Lucas. And yeah. I think most of the anxiety of me of like coding was from that. And it, 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 ha, it has keep us well fed. So, um, so um, I think I'm, I'm very grateful uh, and I'm, I, I kind of like, I'm very grateful that we live in this moment where you can like have this experience of like doing things out of passion and find mm -hmm. a way of like, um, they, they monetize one way or the other one. Like, mm -hmm. and, okay. and, and this is, I, I know that it is a very incredibly privileged things to do. So I, I, this is, I, I have been very lucky to have this experience. So, yeah, I, I have a feeling when, when you're doing something out of passion, especially, and maybe you, you're not thinking, uh, about monetizing but you know just just you you put your heart out there in any art no either in music uh if you're a writer and and then you put it out there and then you are surprised yourself sometimes by the reception of the people no and then maybe eventually yes it will be it will help you to monetize and and that's like the like the extra gift that you receive of just putting this thing out there no so totally um Completely, and um, I think the, the the project that is more tied to monetization, I think, is Pixel Spirit, which is a project that I did for myself. Mm -hmm. I, I like Tarot, uh, I, uh, I like Shader, so I was like mostly doing. It's it's one of those projects I was doing a hundred percent for myself. I was giving me the total like freedom to be kind of like cryptic, you know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to do something that is like you know that it has like a beautiful UI. It doesn't come with a manual so it was like kind of like giving me all these permissions to myself about and, and giving me the freedom to play with something with symbols and code that i love um and every time that somebody i, I receive an order i'm always deeply surprised of like oh my god this, there are more people that like like that this like yeah. super weird thing uh <laughs> yeah so so i'm always like kind of like it's a it's a it's, it's, it brings joy, happiness, and and, and surprise. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so should so, we jump in BS code uh, a little bit? Yeah. So yeah. how does how does how do you pronounce it? Le, is the G hard or soft? Ligia uh, or yeah. Ligia. I I, I put it. Uh, uh, the the name comes from Ligia Clark. Is she's a Brazilian artist. She's oh, an amazing cool. woman. But um, I always. I like her work because she's very close to art therapy. Ooh, oh, uh, oh, I really, we you're talked really about into this. that, right? This, yeah, well, I, I think I, I Does everyone know question. that Patricio's original studies were in was a psych psychology? No, you were. Yeah, yeah. I, I was a, a clinical psychologist, and then I did, I did a specialization in, in expressive art therapy. Yeah. Um, and uh, 
Did Sorry, I'm back. No, if, yeah. if, if, if you want to go run, it's no problem. No, she's she's fine. She's she's fine. She's just like having a hard time. I'm, I'm communicating with my wife. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can step for like five minutes, and it wouldn't be a problem. Just so you okay. Know. Thank no you. Presión, yeah. No hay presión. No I think nada. everyone is fine. <laughs> um, um, yeah, expressive art therapy, and um, and Ligia has it was doing this this kind of like uh, group events, and if if you see if you search her name, you will see like fascinating like groups kind of like getting into like uh exper experiencing with their senses so oh, there's uh, yeah what's it's her what's her family name i'm writing it as a comment Lisa clark clark it should oh, be familiar. yeah it should be if you're searching google it should be at the top oh, okay. i'm so curious um yeah i to you like something like this um, oh, I remember. We, oh, see, this is the woman you mentioned the first time we talked in Paris, and I didn't oh, really <laughs> understand her, the first her name. I, I was like Sarah. I couldn't remember in the recording, but Clark, I remember. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. So uh, the, the name is after her. Um, I, I think it, it thematically goes. It's a lot about perception, and um, and also she has these kind of like objects that she makes that are modular. So. Um, so I'm gonna uh, her later. That's so awesome. Okay. Do we want um, to take her a spin? Oh, I found her. I'm going to put it on screen. Okay. Oh, cool. In the MoMA. Uh, yes. There was like, in MoMA, it was a great exposition of her. Cool. Oh, I didn't know about that. Very good to learn. So fun. I love learning about new artists. So this yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. And Latin America can come, come yeah. in. Yeah. Through. Okay, Latino. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, so, so the li li the library is kind of um, it has some peculiarities. I, I, I it's kind of organized in a very in idiosyncratic way, but I se mm -hmm. separate it into animation uh, functions, color functions, drawing functions, uh, generative functions, filters, mm -hmm. general math operation, mm -hmm. SDF, and space. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe if we jump, maybe I, I guess in the, in the screen so they could see the folders. Um, oh, cool. that You were mentioning. I'm trying to. I think. If Put wait, if what Patricio, you talk about, so the should... has, he can take us through the VS Code, no? Yeah. Oh, map. cool. Let's if you want to, then we follow yeah, yeah. you. Let, let, me, you let me put it on screen just for a second here. Cool. I'm going to put you here. So you're going to be here. Yeah. The screen next to me. Um, and I'm, yeah, Lydia Clark. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, um, okay, so. Now they can see VS Code on screen, I believe. Hold on. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna. Um, so one one of the things that I, I like is when um, I sometimes I, I have an idea and I jump to prototype and it's very annoying to having to go and like search things around. So I think I really like is to like in, immediately. There's some things that I, I always include. For example, mm -hmm. um, this aspect something that solves the aspect ratio of, of my screen. Mm -hmm. So it's a function called in uh, space ratio GLSL and kind of like the trick of the of the library is that is one file per function so this is called level of granularity mm -hmm. and in this case the library is very granular and, and our purpose so I can like mm -hmm. just incorporate the functions that I need and you don't have to worry about including uh, about inclusion of, of, of other files um, so Sophia is very sad over it. Uh, oh, yeah. And so let's solve the, let's solve here the ratio. So, um, yeah, because this hack, we use it as, as well quite often. We have, we we have, have so many hack. ratios. Yeah, exactly. So that when you resize the screen, the shader doesn't distort. Yeah. But now you so created now, a, uh, this include wonderful. So you don't yeah. need to oh, type okay. the hack. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and let's say that we want to, let's let's add some SDF. So we're gonna do include SDF circle SDF GLSL. So this will bring us, and this is totally taken from the book of shaders. By the way, Patricia, uh, can I put the the, the repo yes. on the chat? Yes, of course. The link of the repository. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it on the screen, Thank you. But I will put it on the chat. Thank you so much. Yeah. And then we do color, and I'm going to do. Sorry, um, I had to bring one of these other functions. Sorry. 
Um, uh, so in draw, it's kind of like it's where they feel and stroke leaves. So yeah. we do like this, and this should work. SDF, we want to put something in the middle. Oh, this is too big. Wait, so if I we want to see it, I can put the. Yeah, you, you need to run GLSL canvas, I think. Oh. I will do so. Hold on. For one reason, it's not working. Oh, I missed Why? Why do we have an error in GLSL canvas? Uh, let me see. You know, I, I never run the... There you go. So there's an error. Ratio. Yeah, the ratio and the equal dimension mismatch. Uh, cool. One second. Mm -hmm. I don't know since when the error was. Undeclared identifier. Mm -hmm. uh, space Sorry. ratio. So we go to Ligia, we go to space, we go to ratio. It should be okay. Oh, cool. I, I wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm not putting the library. <laughs> the... Yeah. Sorry. There you go. I, th I thought it was in the root of the. There you go. This should, this should That'll solve work. it. Yeah. yeah. And here, this should be zero, no one. So now we do SCF and the stroke. Ta -da! Do you see it on your end? In my like, end, yes. Do you I see it? Does it work for oh. me? <laughs> Wonder. Wait, wait, control shift P. I'm going to open control. it again. I get an error. No matching overload function. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, you are in GLSL Canvas? Yes. Let me open in GLSL Canvas Can so we're all in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Where were what you are you opening? What were you watching? Oh, no. My GLSL Canvas is compiling. Weird. Ah. But wh what are you previewing, by the way, Patricia? A GLSL viewer. Ah, uh, you're using your tool, of course. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> weird. I, it's funny because before I was running a, a frag shader and it worked for me, but not for Alicia. Hmm. So maybe... I wonder if it, it gets, she doesn't canvas get stuck in a specific weird. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe GLSL canvas doesn't work with this uh, view share. Could I, uh... like, could I hook your GLSL viewer here too, like you? Um... Or you have... you She's screen. on a Mac, so I think it would work for you. You're on a Mac, no? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can run it. Yes, you should. Do, do, but I don't know if is the file on G, uh, local, so you can run it locally. Yeah, I'm like I, I cloned your repo, you know. But you know, oh. you know what could be simpler. Just share your screen so that we can okay. see, and then I record that so that we don't get into more time. But if, if I do that, other people will see? Yes, because I will put it in OBS, the sharing screen. Oh, okay. So um, how I share the screen? Turn on present now. Mm -hmm. Is present mm -hmm. your entire screen? Uh, screen one, screen two, well, I don't screen know, just one. Where you have the... Can share your screen. Google might not have screen rec recording permissions. Okay, mm -hmm. one second. Yeah. Open technology. System. Yes, technology today. Is... Technology is, <laughs> is catching us in every corner. Yeah. Today. I can ask you in the meantime, uh, since you're from Buenos Aires and Argentina, I have to ask this because when I live there, mate. Oh, I love mate. Yeah, you too? Oh, I love it. I just bought some. I have the special cup and everything. I used yeah. to live with a, a girl in Barcelona, one of my, when I moved out of the apartment I was in, this girl from, I think Argentina moved in, and she, when I would visit, mm -hmm. she would always make me drink it, and I love it. Cool. Makes me cool. very, very awake. Did we lose Patricia? Yeah, we, we lost him. I think <laughs> <laughs> he was clicking something. I'm sure he'll, be back. Yeah, he'll be back. He yeah, he's back. Yeah, he's back. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Technicalities. We were just discussing mate. Yeah, I was asking about mate because I wanted to hear uh, from you. Hey, cool. I see. Yeah. yeah. I, nice. I love mate. Mate is good. <laughs> Thumbs up for mate. Yeah, that's what I um, So, um, yeah. Cool. And I will edit this stuff here. 
Cool. Nice. So GLS Elvira uh, is a, another super opinionated tool that I made. Um, and the, the thing that I like about it, about it is that you can like run it in your, um, from your console, it's, it's all terminal based. So I put GLS Elvira, which is the program, followed by the shader. I do this dash L uh, in order to um, always be on top. So, oh, yeah. I see. Oh, okay, cool. Yay. Can people so cool. see? Uh, I, I just wanted to check with people. Yeah, I think right. So I think I can see it. I'm looking at it on my phone, and perfect. it's perfect. Yeah, it's the awesome. It's yeah, perfect, so we can... yeah, we're in. We're in, now. We're good. Yeah. The the size of the is the size okay? I think yeah. it's fine because I uh, make. I try to make this as big as, as I could. It looks super clear okay. for me. The awesome. Layer. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so this this is probably a, a silly example, but let's we so the ratio what it fixes is it fixes the ratio for us. So if we stretch, nice. you will um, mm -hmm. once you will you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, exactly. Um, because this oh, is a long exciting. hack that we normally type in in the beginning when we when Eliza and I are doing our collaborative share I, even me alone I I'm always yeah. entering this like line of hack because I I do want to resize my shader and, sh and see when I first started doing shaders this is the thing that drove me the most crazy because every time I move my screen it would change shape and I was like oh what is happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it's one of those annoying things yeah <laughs> um so let's let's um th this morning my friend uh, Nick which actually he lives here in North Carolina, um, messaged me that he wants to have like a, he, a friend uh, wants to do a vector field. So maybe we can, cool. we can go shoot for that. Yeah. Um, so um, leaving the circle, which in the, I think, in the pixel spirit is the emperor trees. Um, yes. I mean, to so. get us inspired. Uh, we are, um, we go to Lydia and then we go to generative, and in generative is where all the functions that are kind of like uh, stochastic uh, lives, uh, like random and noise. So we cool. add this of yeah function called uh, s noise, which is like simple noise. Shall I sell? By the way, I hope that you don't mind me. I'm like. No, 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 go, go ahead. As, as you, you continue and I'm just... Like, yeah, 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 please. In your way. No, 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 no. You're I, actually, I, I like this. Let's um, make it, make the room, uh, the floor yours. Um, so... Oh, I see. So if you go to generative, you, you have here like fraction motion, uh, simple noise, random, uh, this is like burning noise, um, Ooh, classic noise. That's great, so you don't have to grab it from a gist. Cool. Exactly, and mm -hmm. it, and it has like internal interdependencies. Sorry, I, I drag you to the. I, I'm no, doing this annoying cool. thing of dragging you to other. No, it's places. totally fine. It's totally totally fine. fine. I love that we can we can use these functions, but also like actually look at how they how they work and everything. That's super yeah, nice. me too. Because whenever I need to reach out, if I want to use like noise or one of these things. Well, depending on the environment, right? So, but sometimes I have to grab the gist if it's not already in the environment uh, somehow included. Yeah, and yeah, and, and, and annoying thing is also like you sometimes it has interdependencies, and you have to like copy everything just in case, and like you you know you, you end up kind of like trying to put things together. Mm -hmm. um, and and a thing that I try to oh, because obviously I'm all these things are like um, are. Uh, no, not all the functions are, are something that I wrote. And in this mm -hmm. case, this is a very famous function that I think everybody use. Um, so I, I put it here and I um, put the license that is under. So if you're coding for a company or like professionally, this kind of uh, keeping up the licenses is important. So um, yeah. in this way, I don't have to be worrying so much about like also like keeping track of all the license mm -hmm. that I'm so working good. on. Yeah. Um, I want to show a couple of not the things that this is yeah. probably boring, but this is like details that I like. Um, so each one of these is like a mathematical function that this uh, uh, function needs. Um, and one of the things that the, the library does is like uh, prevents collision between names. Mm -hmm. So uh, noise. Uh, so with this, like if not if it's not defined, the function as noise 
define a function of this noise and you define it. So in this way, you don't have to be worrying about like, I, I put the same function twice. Yeah. Um, or, and you can have like functions that have a kind of like a recurrence and like they will not collide. Okay. Um, um, okay, sorry. Going back to here, and, and so you, you can keep. Uh, I'm, I'm interested because I'm learning about this if I didn't know that you could do that in GLSL. Well, I think it's so great. It's like what we were talking about um, performance, right? It's it's very, I think when you're learning shaders too, like shaders can be so complicated and scary that you might not even, I don't even think about performance because I'm like, mm, I'll figure that out later. Mm -hmm. But this is great because then I get to see it. Whoops. Uh, I get to see it as I'm as I'm learning how to mm -hmm. use all of these different functions. So it's, yeah. Um, yeah and and yeah you and i try to put some the description on it uh and kind of like how you how you use it mm -hmm. there is some specific ones if i can find that it has options like for example this one um yeah that's cool that if you define oh. the noise quintic interpolation before including this you in a specific part of the code it will it will hi hardwire it to something different oh wow this, um, that is more obvious, for example, in blurs. So you have your Gaussian blur and Gaussian blur, you can do it in like two passes in two dimensions or one dimension, one pass, and that dimension, another pass. So here, when you define it, by default, it's one dimension at a time. Um, but if you define Gaussian blur 2D, it will short wire and choose this one, which is like the 2D version, which is inside the other one. So it's, some things are kind of like complicated under the hood, uh, but it's meant to be simple when you like just work on it. Mm -hmm. So let's- You're, getting, let's you're getting a lot of thank yous in the comments about the license stuff. Oh, and that's great. Very excited. And someone asked, what tools do you use to monitor the perfs? I use GLS Reviewer. <laughs> so, um, uh, GLSL Viewer, one of the particularities that I'm kind of obsessed with is keeping parity with uh, Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. And um, and I have a, a different um, I have a different library that also it's going to be open source. What what it, it does pretty much is um, uh, it runs kind of like a server in a Raspberry Pi. And I said, like, OK, do a perf test of everything. Mm -hmm. And it grabs these um, functions. And I develop like unit tests for each one of them and kind of like set benchmarks. So I can compare uh, the same function against different variants of, of it. Um, one of the nice, and, and you will be asking why Raspberry Pi? Um, well, the Raspberry Pi. Project. Project. Yeah? The project that you have right now as well, I was thinking with yeah. the screen. The screen. Yeah. So that, that, I mean, it's like that usage that you can hook it up to like something else, right? So. Yeah, and, and also and in terms of uh, computational power, uh, the Raspberry Pis are um, pretty underpowered. They're like they're like a, a five dollar computer that has a very 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 cheap GPU, and um, which when you're testing performance, you, you kind of want to try in the in the crappiest GPU you can get uh, because the expectation is which better GPUs uh, things the, the driver will resolve better things. Mm -hmm. um, also, another, another side thing about the, the Raspberry Pi is that you can run a GL context without the X11, without the um, Windows Manager. So GLS or Viewer runs directly from the terminal with no Windows Manager at all. And in terms of performance, that implies that the data that I collect from the from the GLS or Viewer, so I basically like pinging, what is your frame rate? how much is taking you to do this operation mm -hmm. um the gpu is not doing anything else it's, be, it's because it's pretty much like a headless servers we know x11 so there is no and i know that os is not doing like funky business if you try to do the same thing for example in mac mm -hmm. uh, the gpu is like a shared resource across multiple apps mm -hmm. so the operating system is pretty much like saying like oh you're doing a simple task i'm gonna give you like this much room for you and I'm going to, to keep like this other app that is more GPU intensive doing this other thing in the back. Um, so by testing everything in the Raspberry Pi, um, I get like 100% of the GPU of a very crappy GPU, which is great because if something doesn't work, it will be it will show right away. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. That's awesome. So thank you for asking that question.
Yeah. <laughs> I, and by the way, I have another question in between. Yeah. Like, uh, this is a, just a question about like, um, because I know that uh, just speaking about your past, no, that you were doing psychology and then now you do this, like, how did you learn all of like this software skills or how did you acquire all of this software knowledge skills through through time just did you study just by reading mm. by doing um uh, i'm just curious this, how, well have you like gained through the years you were always a tinkerer no i think you were always yeah a computer. i always been a nerd <laughs> <laughs> Well, my I think um, my first so when I finished high school, I um, I chose a computer engineer and I did uh, one half um, half a year of computer engineering, and I was kind of miserable. Um, and I was doing in a university that it has also like uh, philosophy as mandatory, and for the first year, and I was miserable. I was I was very math heavy. Uh, which I was okay with, uh, but the, I don't know, the whole vibe, it was very kind of like soulless. And I was like, mm, I think I'm making a mistake here. And I remember at, at today, it was like, I was in, in the class of, um, we were in, in math and they were explaining matrices and like matrices operations, mm -hmm. which retrospectively I should have stayed in that class. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, has, probably, it will be very useful for now yeah. uh, and it hits me all of a sudden I was like I, I'm I'm in the wrong place the only class that I really enjoy is philosophy mm. and it's going to finish this year and then I have five more years of engineering five um, years wow. yeah so so I nudged the guy that was next to me but and I think it, it, everybody was we were all men I remember, <laughs> so, yeah you told me that I remember that <laughs> It so was all, dudes. all dudes, yeah. This and I went to it was all women, no? So yes, and psychology was the opposite. <laughs> and I came from like a Catholic school, so it was like a cultural shock. I was like, "Wow, like this is coming to the university is great." It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so so yeah, I nudged my friend next to me, and I said, "Like I'm out of here." And he was like, "No, no, no, stay because this is gonna go into the test." No, I think I'm out of here in general, like forever. <laughs> <laughs> and like the more I was saying it, uh, mm. I was feeling like better with it. And, uh, and he came outside and tried to like walk, talk me against, but, but it didn't work. And I was like, no, this is the right decision. And it was the right decision. And then I studied psychology and, but I still was an, a nerd. So I, I always play with computers and like tinker with stuff and like disassemble. Completely self thought really yeah and, and i have linux like um i remember in, in the last year of high school i saw linux because i read in a magazine that it was this os that pretty much you can do whatever you want to with it and so i was like super nerd um and i remember being in psychology and my teacher and having like breaking the partitions of my computer and not being able to like present projects to my teacher of like i don't know this is why I get scared to switch. Everyone's always telling me, but we'll help you switch, Eliza. It makes make the jump. And I'm like, but I, <laughs> I the, the like random breaking of things really freaks me out. <laughs> well, it's, it's not like that anymore. It used to be really, it used to be kind of like a, um, like a harder territory. Okay. Um, and I, and to the point that the five years that I studied psychology, I was, I was a, a Linux user. And I survived. Uh, I had to give a lot of weird explanations, and I came with like, I said like using Dropbox pretty much like as a way of making backup. So you you get good at some things. Yeah, because you uh, have that's someone in the comments is saying Linux on a razor, and I remember you got the razor, you installed yes. Linux. Yes, I'm using right now the the laptop from computer. So I can hope. you run Unity on Linux? Yes. Really? It's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no Actually, idea. This whole time, yeah. I'm like, I can't make a switch because I need Unity, but I guess I no, have no, no. You can, you can do it. You can okay. do it. You should do it. Everybody should do it. I, I, I love really this crappy, computer. I'm gonna buy a really crappy laptop, Windows laptop, and try and do it. Yeah, but you, if I ruin should. it, it's not a big deal. <laughs> and a nice thing about Linux is that it, it makes you a better. Um, well, that's why I want to do developer? it. It makes me a better programmer. Yeah. I yeah. Think so because it's uh, like command line a lot, right? So. Yeah. yeah, and and yeah, and, and I like I, the idea of breaking free from 
corporate, all of the things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My vibe. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so so that's the that's story about... Uh, uh, and then I studied psychology. Uh, I switched to experience art therapy and I was making my website on art therapy for art therapy and I teach myself uh, Flash and through Flash was that I discovered that it was a community called Processing yeah. uh, and that's right. how I got hooked. How, how yeah, that's got hooked cool. Okay. cool. Yeah, Flash. Oh, processing. I love, Those yeah, processing is like, cool times. I think the, the, the starting point for a whole generation of it's funny because now it's changing. Now it's very different, but there is a whole period of people doing yeah. coding that's really because of processing. Okay. All right, so wait, like let's walk us through what you what you've done. You've brought in some noise. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wait, sorry. Added. Uh, no, put it in. A, okay, it's here. The as noise. Stroke to color. Yeah. And so. Noise to color. So. Okay. The simple noise goes between uh, minus one to one. Mm -hmm. So this is a. Um, what I'm doing here, I'm like reducing to the half of it. So now it goes from zero point, uh, minus 0 0.5 to 0.5. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding 0.5. So I'm offsetting everything by five. So now it's between zero and one, which, okay. um, so yeah. I this... normalized it. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, and the nice thing about normalization is that you, um, then it's, uh, it's very easy. It's, it's very nice to, um, to visualize stuff. Um, so in this in this case, um, let's let's make this colorful. Uh, we can include. Uh, yeah, I was creating some colors. <laughs> but do you yeah. have for color too? Yes, of course. I have every, everything for everything. <laughs> so we uh, check color, and we have different color spaces. So I'm gonna okay. do HSV, which hue, saturation, and value. Uh, to RGB, GSO, mm -hmm. and oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, ah, this is another space. We have Sligia cool. color space, and this is like where the functions that converge between a uh, between color space lives. Oh yeah, we played with that function with Char the other day. Awesome. So now we're gonna use this to create some. So the noise is gonna go to the hue. Uh, the saturation, we're going to put full saturation, and then the value is going to be full value. Well, uh, so I made a mistake. Mm. Yeah, it's a V3. Ooh. Yeah. So now it's funky. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Yay. Gravy. Yay. <laughs> exactly. Like um, and maybe, I think if we, yeah. If we can make it more chill or less chill. This is awesome. Um, what so if you make it less saturated? This is sorry. In the middle is the saturation, right? You said. So. Yeah. Yes, HSV. And if you go, it, go ahead, feel, feel at home. Um, mm. Do I and... have to click save in order for a GLSO viewer to see changes? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, and you can do this, that, right? Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I did it. Okay, I did it. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I got it. Um, and while you do that, and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try to draw li little arrows. Yeah. Oh, uh, you said the so, vector field, right? Oh, I'm super yeah. excited how you do this with shaders. So let's get rid of the sign distance field. Um, and from here, I'm going to bring... Uh, the triangle, and then instead of a stroke, I'm going to use fill, which everybody yeah. should be familiar because of the pixel yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, and so what we are going to do is kind of like, um, this is a super old trick of like grabbing your space, and we're going to um, make cells, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a vec2, and I usually put sti. So uh, here is, is UV, right? Oh, sorry? we had a conversation before. ST and UV are the same. ST and UV yeah. are the same. Usually yeah. ST... Why do you like to call it ST, by the way? I mean, I know Eliza asked you that question, but for the viewers, <laughs> I wonder why you like to call it ST. <laughs> um, so um, usually comes in pair. So, so uh, it's a convention that I 
honestly, at this time, I don't know where I pick up. But um, usually, it's when you talk about it's in the it's, it's in the same way when you are talking about UVs, mm -hmm. you you and you see some code that is referring to UVs. You think that it's a geometry and it has like the texture map on it, right? So it's a kind of like a convention. And ST usually uh, is is related to screen space. So that's at least how I use it. So. Yeah. If there's something that is being applied to the screen or is a 2D thing, ST is fine. Cool. Uh, or at least that, that's cool. That makes sense. Uh, I use it. Um, but it's, 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 uh, it's, it's part of the language. Uh, so if I do ST, ST, I think it oh, really? works. Yeah, yeah. So in the same way that you have XY, mm -hmm. you have ST. That's so fun. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. I and they mean the same, like basically X, Y. Yeah, and, and, and this is this is a, a beautiful thing that I like about uh, GLSL and shadow languages is that this idea of like, oh, ST yeah, it's, or RG. So you, you, you kind of like, it's a, it's a language that uh, promotes thinking kind of like um, very flexibly and plastically about uh, things because you can like go and think it's more of a way of communicating with that whatever person is reading your code. Uh, you, you can do because you can also do something very cryptic, like like you know you can also do this and this sex, for example. Um, so you have this kind of like different ways of uh, you can get into the language from different kind of like mindsets. Mm. So I'm gonna I like to call this grid. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the numbers of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm cells per side that we're going to have. Are you going to use fract? Yeah. So <laughs> 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 yes, my favorite function. I love patterns. So. Uh, awesome. Uh, uh, ST, F, and here we do yeah, the fract. fract. Yeah. <laughs> I love fract. <laughs> um, so we're going to inform our, um, we're going to, we're going to use this to inform Let's move this a little up. Um, to, we're going to use the STF. Oh, the baby sneeze. Yeah, Sorry. I hear it too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Um, so here, I'm going to make a float STF. It's going to be a triangle, a triangle STF. Uh, and this triangle STF is going to use STFF. I also love triangles, so this is super fun. <laughs> Color, uh, feel. SDF 0.5. So we should see a lot of triangles. Yeah. Yes. So Step one. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if can we do like they this? Are black yeah. Which yeah, one do you color. prefer? I like the or colorful just... ones. I mean, it's white, yeah, like... but it looks, it gives like the impression. It's brighter, because it gives brighter. the impression when the colors flow behind that they are not even white, that they're like pinkish. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's more optical illusion. With white totally. rather than black. <laughs> it cool. seems like I, I see them uh, pink and white. Yeah, Do me too. The... And okay. I see them growing too. The pen, like yeah. when the red oh, yeah. noise, I see them like even bigger. So this is the kind of stuff that is cool. Nice. To play with. Um, and then we're going to use another one um, that is going to be the rotation. So if. Um, yeah, I was so... Um, Do you have already, I guess, in your library, the rotation, so you don't have to type? Of course, I see oh, it in cool. space. I see nice. rotate, X, Y, Z. Yes. Fun. Ooh, and flip. Cool. Um, so rotate, SCF rotate. Um, oh, it, will that, it will do the trick that we want to. I'll be back uh, in a second, and... by the way. OK. So here, and this is, um, and this use um, is, um, you know, it's, um, so if I do this, is that it's, high? yeah, yeah, it's ra it's radius, radians. Mm -hmm. So um, because it's uh, because um, we're using radians and it's a little like um, I don't know. We want to be precise. Mm -hmm. uh, we can um, we have you a mathematical know? constants, yes, yeah. we have, which has included another thing. Oh, yeah. cool. If we go to Chile cell, we have like pi, half pi, two pi, tau, which is the wow. same that two pi. Yeah. 
uh, phi, epsilon, golden ratio, like all sort of magical numbers. <laughs> yeah, golden angle. I didn't know there was a golden angle. It's, do you know those, make those patterns that like the um, sunflowers? Well, it doesn't Oh, matter. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought that, oh, I see. I thought that was the golden ratio. But that's, um, the, that's the C shape. Yeah, either right, I think, yeah. if I remember correctly. Um, so if here I put u time by pi, it probably goes too fast. We can make it slower. Now it's rotating, but they're all rotating the same, and we kind of like want it to rotate um, accordingly, right? So yeah. we're going to have another natural called float. We're going to put A, uh, A, and here we go. Why did I miss? Ah, oh, you're so um, brought in high to rotate, and now I think we're going to make them individually rotate, right? Yes, exactly. Can we make them random? Rotate? Do you have a random function too, right? So, so we we're running we're running noise right here, mm -hmm. um, and and this noise uh, is um, it's kind of like uh, let's let's simplify our our life. Um, this noise is kind of like very uh, homogeneous, mm -hmm. um, but if we run SF, um, SF no ah. SY. Mm -hmm. um, it becomes a little Yay. more, uh, That's yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, cool. And we can do a thing called, um, so if we divide by the number that we multiply, this is also called uh, decimation, which basically um, oh, in, nice. in, a, in 2D, you can think on as, as pixelation. Okay. So let's, let's go through, through it. So you have a, you have, we have a number, mm. we multiply it by a bigger number, when then with floor we chunk it on um, at the level of the integers, mm -hmm. and then we divide it back. So the result is something that if if you, for example, if you have a curve, you get like a, a stair version. Cool. That wow. in radio wave is called decimation. I'm gonna delete for it for, for a second to see again what happens. Okay. Ah, okay. Here it was. Okay, I just needed to go back to to see. No, no, go go. So when you divide yeah. it up by the grid, it becomes more. You have to save yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. Yeah, it's more calming as well somehow. It's more spread so, it too. It's more like yeah, it's not as random as the other. And and it's kind of more cons it's more consistent, right? It's it's, yeah. it's more aware of the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, it's like grouping because before it was alone, like each of these like random scores were alone, and now it's like grouping clusters random. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's it's a good it's a good way of thinking it. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna bring noise up a little bit and and so I can use this st uh, STI and and can instead of feeding a, a similar angle to all of them, with which is in this case is uh, n. So I can. The mm -hmm. time, sorry, I can feed n. Bruce, so now... yes, the stream is recorded. Mario is saying, and I think he is right. He's saying STI is how you get an ID for each cell in the grid. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. And but now we are breaking it. So it used to be, if if let, let's do the exercise together. Mm -hmm. um, so this one used to be zero zero, right? Or my my screen is not square anymore. Um, so let's put it like mm -hmm. this. Beep. So ST was zero zero here in mm -hmm. this triangle of the lower um... left. Is that left? Yeah, thank you. It's my left. <laughs> it's my left. <laughs> it's left. No, no, it's, it's mine too. <laughs> okay. No, I think so. It's it, everyone's left. <laughs> uh, in the uh, lower left corner. Um, so this is the zero zero. So when it's like this, it's it's exactly like uh, Mario was saying. It's like zero zero is one yeah. here. Okay. This one is one gonna be one. Because we're multiplying by ten, right? So this one becomes one, uh, one zero, two zero, mm -hmm. three zero, four zero, and here is uh, uh, zero one, one one, uh, one two, one two three. one, three, uh, two one. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
And this is because the number is, is kind of like, is because we're using, we, because we're scaling by 10, the, 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 the total screen is gonna go from zero to 10, which is more that we can um, see in terms of color if we map it to color. But then uh, we're floating it. So we, uh, we're only going to get uh, integral numbers. So we get zero, like a, a full zero for all that square, for all that cell, a full one for the next one, and a full two for the next one. And then by divided it by the number of, of maximum number of the, the grid, we normalize the bag again between zero and one. And this is what it brings this like visual coherence because at the end, because they, the noise, it will be, the curve of the noise uh, will be scaling away that we will see kind of like the full, kind of like the noise, the, the curve that the noise make, Got but it. it will be all jagged. Yeah. Oh, and I have a question. What happens yes. if you divide it by a number with sin and time? Nice. I'm just, what happens? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm just I don't know either. <laughs> so. Let's see. Ooh. It, so it breaks the cluster thing if you add. Um, uh, let, let, let's try. Let's try uh, putting a, a smaller number than ten. So so things change less fast, mm -hmm. and maybe we can see. Maybe we can not notice something. Maybe um, like zero point one or like a very small, like a fraction number. Yeah. I don't see a difference. Yeah. Do you? No, I guess. So, um, I'm thinking that maybe it's because sine goes between minus one and one, so yeah. it's still the same kind of range. It's just that some of them we're making negative, mm. which in this case I think the negative were the green, the green cells. Um, I'm noticing that these triangles doesn't make a full turn, um, and I think that's because in the angle I'm using pi and not uh, two pi. I think it has to be uh, two, no. Multiplying by yes. two, so it's full exactly. Normally, and um, is... some people like to call it a uh, tau. Yeah, also, exactly. Which yeah. is I like to call also it tau also supported by the library. So yeah. <laughs> tau in both are, yeah, both are I mean, honestly, when I was learning all of this and I would see in tutorials tau tau to rotate, I was like, what the fuck is that? But then I took the time <laughs> to to really like, uh, and then I understood, and I was like, ah, oh, okay. And now, I had now never I seen like tau it. until I met Alicia and we started coding together. Because in processing, everyone always says two pi, so I always thought that that's what it was. So yeah, all the different names. I love it. There is a woman that has like a really good uh, YouTube channel about math, and she talks about like how infuriating it is that people doesn't use ta tau because <laughs> actually <laughs> tau is a, a full turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. is it v hard? Uh, I oh, think no, so. There I, are so there she's, the only, she's the only girl math YouTuber I know. No, there's the other one that we talked about the other day. Wow. Freya? She specifically yeah, Freya. does. Mm -hmm. She is not math. Hers is like computer science in general, I think. Oh, but okay. Vhart is like only math. She does ah, like, okay. well, let's celebrate pi day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And brings a pie. And yeah. <laughs> I love her. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I, I feel that I, I brought this example that is very kind. Where do you want to take it? No, or... I, love... oh, I have no idea. Um... Can we make the triangles colorful? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, to... Sometimes, you know, it's just like, basically Ooh. when Eliza and I are together, we have no idea what we want. <laughs> we're just like tweak stuff. And then when we see something we like, and a lot of time that I'm doing my shader art on my own is the same. Like um, if I want to learn like one new uh, function or something, I just like start put numbers on it until I see something that I like and that it helps nice. me to see yeah. where it's going. So That's nice. What, what it just happened next? Like uh, oh, yeah. it's kind of like it was more subtle. And... Yeah, that's what I was like trying to less color i mean i love color but like, it was so much too much go happening <laughs> I felt... alicia does enjoy a smooth gradient i know this much about her yeah. <laughs> i like it but when it's like little like not too much i mean you can check with other function yellow so, so um I'm, I'm still porting things to the library mm -hmm. um 
where is my ah here? Um, so there is a, a bunch of functions that I still haven't uh, added to Lichia, but I have them in the pack. Let me search for... How long has it taken you uh, to create this library, by the way? How long have you been working on this one? I I, I start, I start uh, with Pixel Spirit, so I guess this has been um, almost five years. Wow, five years? Wow. No, four years. Four, four years. Um, a little more. And, um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you start putting the code together for the Pixel Spirit deck like on the train to work? Yes. <laughs> I was like, wow, you had time to do that on the train to work. It's so crazy. Oh, well, I was living in New York and we, again, because of prices, we, we went very south. We were living in Sunset Park. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a quite a commute in, in, this, in the subway. Um, it was like an hour and uh, sometimes more. And then, and, and I was taking that R or it was the R or the J, the R. And the R goes extremely low, slow and like pass very so often. Um, um, so I had a lot of time. I'm impressed and, that you were able to concentrate and code on the subway. Oh. I yeah. don't know if I could do that. I feel like I'd be too distracted all the time by like the noises, the smells, the people. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm, I kind of get, when I, when I code, I kind of like get into my get own in world. Zone. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's great. <laughs> no, I think it's good. That's your flow state, right? I can do that sometimes more and more now, but at the beginning, I definitely, it was hard. It, yeah. The, yeah. I, I remember being, um, I was coding in the, in the, tarot deck and it, you know there were all these super cryptic numbers mm -hmm. uh, super cryptic symbols and i was like grabbing cards in the subway because you know because i already felt like having some prints in order to prototype um and kind of like seeing that people were reacting the, people, the guy next to me was kind of like what <laughs> <laughs> this dude i had to get out of here that's funny there, there was a there was that moment that I was uh, going in the in the subway and I was using uh, the Raspberry Pi attached to a laptop to a, like a um, I have it here yes here one second so this this is um, a Motorola laptop which is like mm -hmm. a for phones which is pretty much like a keyboard a mouse and a battery and a screen. Mm -hmm. And you can connect your phone to it, but immediately the community around Raspberry Pis uh, discovered that you can plug and power your Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. So it was oh, coding nice. with this connected through uh, cables to a Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pi connected to here. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like I was super happy, and I think like I'm you know I'm like a hacker. I'm like so cool. <laughs> and my wife was like, you you have to stop doing that because they're, they're gonna. <laughs> They're gonna think that you're like a Luna bomber or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah. But yeah, but, the subway, yeah, that is gonna sketch people out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's she's right. She's right. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little naive. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so wait, if I wanted to add because if I yes. wanted to turn the triangles black, then I just I just add a minus where yes. there's yeah. plus. But if I want to add colors to the triangles. Oh, that's a that's a good that's a good point. Um, so when so I usually compose in this way where I, I kind of like add things on top of it, each other. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. But if you want if you want to kind of like replace the color, a, a nice way to do it is through is through um, uh, mix. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe I don't maybe you want to drive or I can do it. No, you can drive. Uh, I'm 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 yeah, because I'm never sure how to do that. I can always add a background color. Yeah. I have so, trouble once I've created a shape to add a color. These are the triangles, color. right? This, this tree SDF here, this flower yeah. SDF. Yeah. yeah. So that makes the SDF, which so is the sign. If I like, multiply the SDF by something, I could probably change the color now. Could we do something um, like mix? Yeah. Ooh. I'm trying, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. That This is this, this is the curio curious aspect of... I don't know if it's going to... Oh, I see. Oh wait, oh no, I, uh, no, I got confused. It's here. It should be in the mix. You, yeah. you got it. You, you. 
Nice. Uh, but no. I have um, let me see. Ah, SDF is a float. So and C one and C two is a is a their color. So I think you, what you're trying to put is color instead of SDF at the beginning. Yeah. Mm, at the. To take one. No 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 here. here. So, sorry, I, I, ah, I yeah, right. messed it up. Sure. Yeah. There you go. But then this should be as well a vector three, right? Or that the um, interpolation can be a floating number. So at the end, we are adding on top of it. So I'm trying like to see what's happening. If I put time here, then I would be animating back and forth. SDF is a float, so then it's going to be just a ratio so that doesn't change. So you're doing this on the SDF. You the, the fill function, what it does is convert the SDF. It, it, it caps it. So it cut it in a, I think it's more, it's easier if we, I'm going to reduce the grid for a second. So okay. now we're going to have a grid of one. So ah, we yeah. see cool. that we are adding this field inside, but the SDF is just that. Mm -hmm. So if we put the field here ah. and we put, say, like the half of it, this is, I, this is, I think, probably what you is want to do. Is like step? Yes, exactly. Oh, Actually, yeah, it's so exactly that. OK, because I, was, I would have step it, I guess, when they, they yeah. are writing the things, and I want to make them solid. Okay. You, your guide was totally correct. Okay. Um, so, cool. to to the question of of, of, of Eliza of, mm -hmm. of like how I convert like um, replace something with a color, mm -hmm. um, I usually use this pattern where like I grab the color and I put it on top of. I take the color oh. and uh, sorry, I broke it. So now, so now basically the okay. background color comes from the step before mm -hmm. and then in mix um i use mix just to say like well inside the triangle use this other color which is c1 or c2 sorry i'm gonna put it back uh, how it no, works no, no. Oh. it's you can tweak as well <laughs> it doesn't have to stay like as a, we're supposed to just jam you know it's it's all right that's so funny i i i have some um my my it's, it's it's gonna be my time to take care of, of uh, to being in charge of the kids of yeah so, oh, yeah. so I, I, need, I need to step out and and take care of, of the kids and relieve jen from the duty yeah, yeah, yeah. um but i don't i, I don't uh i don't want to say bye without saying thank you oh um, are you kidding no it's, it's us thanking you for taking the time yeah. oh no no please <laughs> thank you a whole sick household. No, we really yeah. we're so glad to have you with us. Oh uh, well, I, I I hope I hope in the future we can repeat this. Uh, I have a, a great time. And Definitely. Yeah. I, I get to thank you for introducing us to your new tool. I mean, oh, everyone's no, really please. excited. And before you go, just to say that there was like easily 10, 20 comments in the chat about how much all of your work has inspired and helped everybody. Uh, so I think everyone's really happy to spend time with you today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, I have a blast and I feel that um, I speak a lot. And so I, I hope next time we see each other, I can uh, hear more about your stories. Definitely. Uh, oh, no, yeah. no problem. Our pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure to have you here. I'm putting back uh, for now in the screen the, the link to your library for everybody mm -hmm. okay. who's uh, listening. I think you can stop presenting if you want. Oh, stop so presenting. I can have only the three of us on camera. Cool. At the end of the stream right now. By sending you and your household all of the healthy vibes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We, soon. we need it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being here today for the patient, for everybody, for the technical problems in the beginning. Yeah, thank you very much. But, <laughs> thank uh, you so much. And Elithia, it has been a pleasure. I let, 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 um, let, Let's keep it in touch. Uh, I, I already know Eliza, so. Um, yeah, uh, si, sí, claro. Yeah. Podemos no, hablar no. más español. I didn't even See, got I'm glad into, that you guys got to each other this way. That's I wouldn't even ask about music from Argentina because I listen oh, to a lot of oh. music, no? Cadillacs, Babasonicos, um, nice. Alexio Pelados uh, in the 90s. Uh, yeah. Atercio Pelados era de México, right? No, no, no. Son, Atercio no. Pelados? Atercio Pelados son, que no son argentinos? No. Mexicanos no Ay, son. Ay, qué horror. They are not, they are not, <laughs> they are not qué horror Mexicanos. que me agarra la duda. I'm sorry. You guys are getting lots of hearts from the chat as well. Lots of, lots okay. of hearts, hearts and things. Uh, 
Thank you, everybody. Oh, they're from oh. Colombia. My Colombia. Oh, my God. We were both from. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I, I knew because they have a different accent that they are not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they have a super, I, I like, I like a Colombian accent. It's like very sweet. It's like, like all the Car Caribbean accents. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. they confuse it with Mexican somehow. I don't know why. I, I feel we talk different. But when I live in Buenos yeah. Aires, people used to ask me, are you from Colombia? And I was like, no, I'm from uh, But that's, that's because in a... Okay. <laughs> Arch Argentinians being Argentinian. That's Argentinians being Argentinians. Yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have a we have a huge problem with monoculture in Argentina. Mm. Like everybody looks the same, and we all call the same. Like my wife says that you look exactly like every all your friends. Like I can barely tell you apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 tend to mimetize, and yeah, and so in any other accent, it's like yeah. Oh, it's just like we, other. I see. Yeah, we're very insular. We're very like, yeah, I think. I, I'm being very judgmental about our own, my, my own country, but uh, but we, we're very, very friendly and we don't do it ah, badly. Yeah. Yeah, Cerati, so yeah. Somebody in the, yeah, so the stereo, somebody in the chat, Mario. Yeah, of course. Cerati and, and Cantiflas? Yeah. Cantiflas? I don't know. What that means. No, that's from Mexico. That's an actor. Yeah, it's an actor. <laughs> that's yeah. a, a Mexican actor. actor. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool that they know Cantiflas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. I remember watching movies oh, of cool. Cantiflas movies. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Anyway, and I... El Chavo del Ocho. Oh, por Dios. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> In Argentina, I think they still show it, El Chavo El Ocho, in the weekends and the mornings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have a last <laughs> name that it's, um, let's say, like the creator of that. And in Argentina, it happened in the school quite often that they will as well, like, oh, El Chavo. <laughs> because they my <laughs> oh, last no. name. <laughs> anyway, we don't yeah. want to keep you, but thank yeah, you. Don't keep you us, but thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, let's, let's keep in touch awesome thank Have you so much buenas noches. you too buenas noches take care Hello, yeah so awesome. that was so lovely yeah it was i figure we can stay a little bit with the people just to say goodbye again because yeah, we've been at it. now when i think about it it's two hours actually that we yeah are streaming with the half an hour of being late so an hour and a half yeah that's not bad no so. I'm really, I'm really into this library. I'm excited to poke around with it more. Yeah, me too. I mean, you it's can very, definitely do. Uh, it's very intuitive, especially this thing. The, the last thing that he was talking about, feel, it kind of makes sense because normally one would use step, but step mm -hmm. doesn't tell you anything, right? Like what step? Like walking? I don't know. I think yeah, it took, me, it took me a while to figure step out, and I, I remember when I realized what it was. I was like, oh, but yeah, it's not it's... the name. Step is not so obvious to no. fill it. Yeah, exactly. You're filling the part mm -hmm. of the yeah that you're sectioning off. Yeah, yeah, but we can definitely try and do. We just have to figure out how to get the GLSL viewer thingy to work. Yeah, that we can, again we can try, try and do a stream at some point with the library. Mm. Yeah, I agree. If, I feel like people would be into that. I know, I know that I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. PPS seven five zero one next weekend. No, but the weekend after, we do our streaming yeah. schedules generally every other week. Oh, maybe we can announce already, as we usually kind of pre-announce. Or yeah, the next are we doing one just us, or is it direct another no, guest? No, it's directly another direct guest. another guest. Yes. Yeah, let's go for it. It's so, your, it's your, yeah, your turn to announce. So yeah, in two weeks because we stream every two weeks. I think from now on, Eliza, we will have guests. I believe almost every time. Pretty much every week. Yeah, yeah. pretty cool. much. So if we wanna awesome. do something, we have to like maybe spontaneously do something Spontaneous about, extreme in, yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> but the next gex we're really excited because yeah. it's a, a, a friend and maybe some of you know her already from twitter and that's uh lea rosema i don't know if she's still online uh, here because she was here before i think and oh yeah she was in the chat friend. earlier no? yeah i think so so lea rosema is going to be our next guest um so excited. she knows so much about, about webgl and I call her that she too is a shader wizard. I've learned a lot from her. Uh, had the pleasure to work with her last summer um, professionally and in a WebGL project. And yeah, she, she just, uh, her math brain is, it blows my mind. So I love a math brain. I'm so excited to pick her brain. We are very excited to, to have her. I'm going to search her Twitter to put it on the chat in case some people don't know her. 
Um, Tara Bode. Yeah. She said hi in the chat. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, Tara Bode is her. That's what she meant. Uh, it's her handle. I forgot the name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the chat. I think uh, someone did already. Yeah, she said hi. And Just above Mario know. saying woo, there's Terabode saying hi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, she yeah, that's Leah. Hi. So yeah, actually, Leah's here. Okay, Leah. <laughs> and I We're put so you on excited. the screen now, Leah, so people can check uh, your profile. So, yeah, and we'll see what, what we'll do with Leah. It's still, still to plan Yeah. what we'll come up with, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward for it. Very, very excited. So um, if you guys are not already subscribed to our newsletter or um, subscribe to our Twitch channel, do so so that you can get a little ping and a little update about the time and the place. I mean, the time and the place. It will be here around this time. <laughs> but yeah, it might be an hour earlier. Yeah, it could be, could be. Yeah, we don't know yet. Maybe six, in between six and seven. But we all, always update it here or I'm putting it on screen. We have this stream page. Um, yeah, and in oh, normally... the first shaders, I love that shader. So, so we will put it there too, in case for to remind people. All right, so I'm gonna start wishing everybody a happy weekend. Hope that you've been weekend, enjoying yeah. the sun, spring. Finally, finally, I see yeah. spring here. By the way, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I went outside for a walk in the sun today. Yeah, sat on a nice bench under a tree, I was reading a magazine, drinking a coffee, and then a random man stood next to me and started peeing. <laughs> oh my god like, what the hell and then i got up and i left but everything up to that this point is was super of... beautiful and romantic and felt so and then i was like what is that water sound and i look up and he looked right at me and i looked at him and i was like <laughs> i feel this is the kind of stuff i was gonna say like in big cities it always totally. this is random totally. things happen <laughs> like i wasn't even surprised i was just like oh okay i'm just gonna get on with my day but yeah we're happy spring is here <laughs> Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, here, it, it, it was sunny too here. Yeah. And finally getting warmer because it was too cold for like. Yeah, it time. got really wintry again, no? Yeah. Last it was weekend. So hard. Not into that. I really like being able to go outside in just a sweater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, thank so. you again to everybody. We're so excited about Leia. We're so glad to have had Patricia on. And exactly. um, and we'll see you all soon. Yeah, so Yay. now I will turn off this and goodbye, goodbye everybody.